Today in Algo Manifest Show, the world's first interview with the CEO of Ronin Software, Michael Jenkins. Jenkins is the creator of Wall Street Raider, the best stock market simulation game of all time. The game was developed in the 80s. And it has been updated until now. Making this PC game the game with more years of development and upgrades on Earth. The PC game will be available for you in the description below of this video. Jenkins is the designer of one of the most fascinating macroeconomics engines. So we asked him about the game and his views about gold, silver, and the stock market today. This is his first public interview given to anyone since 1986. He has not given interviews on TV, radio, or any YouTube channel. Until now. Algo Moneyfist viewers will enjoy this unique privilege of being at the premiere today. So with no further introductions, let's start the show. We are about to start. Let's give now a warm welcome to our guest today, Michael Jenkins. Welcome to the show. Well, thank you, Michael, for being here. It's my great honor having here Michael Jenkins, the author and CEO of Running Software and the creator of Wall Street Radio, the best market simulation game of all times. Thank you for being here, Michael. It's a great honor for me. So this <coughs> my pleasure too. So these games play in 100, 112 countries played by nine years old kids up to fund managers and corporate CEOs. That's right, Michael? Oh, and people up to my age even. <laughs> <laughs> so for, for the people who may don't know, Michael is the creator of the best top market simulation of, of all times. There is no match to this game because you can you, can, you are a corporate, it is a stock market in which players try to build their corporate empires by fair means or full. That will be struggling while struggling with the attacks from the SEC, Congress, powerful unions, corrupt governments, ruthless competitors, man made calamities, economics, that's all inside one game. So there is no match to your game. Is that correct, Michael? That pretty much describes it. Yeah, I've tried to build just about everything I could think of that, that I've learned in my life as a doctor and as a certified public accountant and an economist. I've kind of been a jack of all trades. Yeah, the, this game has been a, it started out as a little hobby when I was in law school. Uh, I started thinking about doing it. And, uh, that, that was in 1986 or prior to that year? That, that was back in the 1960s before wow. personal computers had even come along. Uh, and I, I initially was going to do a board game, something like Monopoly, uh, except with corporations instead of real estate. But I figured out pretty quickly that that just was not feasible without having a computer. And of course, not everybody, hardly anybody had access to the computer. So, so you, you, start, yeah, go ahead. You, you made a DGC game in which language you use? Uh, when I finally programmed it, 1980s. Uh, I just did the Microsoft Basic, which uh, was kind of kind of the, the quickest way to do anything back then. I, I didn't know anything about programming, but it was so easy to do that uh, first first night I tried to do something, I wound up spending the whole night on the computer and said, "Oh, this is, this is not hard." <laughs> and, and at that point, I thought, "Wow, now maybe I can make the game into a computerized uh, version." So that, that's where it began, it, actually in 1984. And it took me about two years. Two years developing the game. The first, uh, yeah. the first version. Now we are version 9, and you, the, the first version was in 1986. Yeah, yeah. Whoa. My book publisher published it then. And uh, it, it, it got a fair amount of publicity. I, uh, my publisher was in Silicon Valley, and, and I got interviewed by the local newspaper in the picture it the paper that everyone reads Valley. So it, it kind of caught on at that point. Michael, I, I think, yeah, I'm I, gamer too, I'm thinking maybe this is the game with the largest amount of years of development, more than 30 years upgrade of, of upgrades in history of, of PC gaming, of PC games, right? That is possibly true because I, I've been working on it 
continuously uh, all, all of these years. I, I, I'm pretty sure that it's an OPC game with 30 years of improvements. Probably not. Uh, there are games that are older than that, like Kong My God. or Pac-Man, but, uh, but I don't think they've ever really changed. <laughs> this is just amazing. So let's go, let's go back to the story of the man behind the game. So you started as a lawyer and a graduate from Harvard. That's correct. That's correct, yes. And then you move, you move in the law firms all related to the stock market. Uh, related to finance. Finance, okay. I, uh, in fact, when I came out of law school, I, uh, I decided uh, I, I don't really want to practice law. So, <laughs> so I went to work uh, as an economist first and uh, did that a couple of years, which was very interesting. Learned a lot about economics and uh, discounted cash flows, you know, the, kind of the mechanics of finance. And at that, after a couple of years of that, I decided to become a CPA. So I joined one of the big uh, uh, CPA firms. So you, you you got your Harvard degree in the 60s and you uh, CPA degree in the 80s, right? Uh, in the 70s. In the 70s, okay. Right. Yeah. So I, I, I was doing that until about 1976. And I re realized I was basically practicing law at a CPA firm doing really high level tax work. On billion dollar mergers and billion dollar mergers. Yeah, so it was, it was really interesting work. And I got to see how the, the inside of these really complex transactions work. And of course, as I was doing that, I was taking notes. <laughs> and I, I want to build this into the game, which I did. Amazing. So you, you launched the version in the 80s. Uh, how many hours? You two years, you said only two years only for the first version. Yeah, yeah, it was compared to the current version, it was very simple. Uh, it, it basically just had stocks and bonds and you could trade those, but it also had a you know, even before graphics were becoming uh common in computers, I figured out a way to make a sock ticker run and a news sticker so people all, whoa, it's really cool. It's really cool, yes, yeah. awesome, you know. So it, it, it was basically a stock bond game, but as the years have gone on, uh, I, after I took it back from the publisher in 1990, he, he decided uh, he didn't want to publish it anymore. It wasn't selling that well. So uh, I, I, I've been self-publishing it since 1990. So then I started adding things like, uh, initially I added options, trading put and call options, because that, that was something I'd started doing myself. I think 1967 was the first time I was trading options in the real world. So I had a lot of experience in that. So I, I, I built that experience in the game as well. And, uh, and, and gradually added more things uh, like futures and commodity futures trading, which got real complex. And uh, it took me a while to work that out. I believe that there are no PC games and there, also no, there are no simulation from any stockbroker of real life that match your game. I, I have not come across any. Uh, I, in fact, I get customers selling all the time, but they play all of these, like, and, and all these other games. They are not even close. They say they're like for children. So they are not even close, right? Yeah, apparently not. So from version 1 to version 9 in 36 years. Yeah, it's been a long progression. <laughs> Thank you very much for this opportunity, Mike. It's my great pleasure. I, my honor, as a fan of yours. Thanks for having me on. I, I appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay, good day to you. Good day. Bye-bye.